Uh, we welcome in right now. He had 14 years with the Tampa Bay Rays. Uh, his club actually beaten by the Astros in the playoffs last year. So he's on all sides of this. We welcome in the new general manager for the Houston Astros, James Click. James, it's Brian Kenny. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me, guys. And James, first, congratulations to you. Like, let's just get that in. Again, you've been working at this a long time. You were you writing at Baseball Prospectus years and years ago, all those years of success with the Rays. Congratulations to you and your thoughts on getting a general manager's job. Uh, thank you. I, I really appreciate that. Um, it's a it's, uh, you know, dream of a lifetime for, for those of us who work in the game to, uh, to be able to take uh, the reins, especially of, a, of, an, or, of an organization as talented uh, and as successful as this one. So um, just really excited uh, about the opportunity and looking forward to helping out. So, James, what is it like in Astros camp today? We're talking about it all here on the network. It's been on all day. Um, you're, you just got there. I understand that. But what is it like at Astros camp today? Well, I think you guys have, have captured it well. Um, you know, the the players, and, and I'm just meeting a lot of them for the first time, and so I'm getting a feel for them, their personalities, uh, you know, how they interact with each other. Um, I, the team meeting that we uh, that we had last night, the the guys were, were awesome. They were they exceeded my expectations in terms of their understanding about their role in this and, uh, you know, the, the contrition, the remorse. Um, you know, I, I know that you guys have, have had a lot of comments about how the press conference went today, but, you know, I think that the, the statements that we got from the players in the clubhouse, uh, you know, that was, that was really close to what, uh, what I saw last night from these guys. And, and they're just upfront, straightforward, honest. You know, it's been, it's been really amazing to see. Well, James, I mean, several things can be true at the same time. I know one thing Jim Crane says, these are really good guys. And I might be, you know, people laugh at that. It's like, we know these guys. These are good guys. Uh, and yet, yeah, this team was also good already. They didn't win because they were just stealing signs. You played them last year. We know this. And yet, there was a jump over the line. What are you going to do in your position to make sure there are ethical boundaries set up? Again, you were there with the Rays, and you, I guess you weren't crossing them. You tell us, what are the, the things that you're going to do to try to institute in this new world? Yeah, and you've heard some of the players talk about it. You know, they wish they had stepped up. They wish they had said something. They wish that there was something that, that they could do. Um, and we're going to create a culture of trust here. Uh, it is not going to be a, a small group of people that are, are operating behind a cloud of secrecy. We are going to be open and honest with our employees and our players. And we're going to create uh, an atmosphere here where people know that they can they can speak out when something is going on that they know is is wrong. And, you know, that that is going to take time and that is going to take relationships to be built. And, and repaired, but you know we are going to create a, a, an atmosphere, and it's going to start with me. And I'm going to you know let everybody know here that I'm going to be as absolutely as honest with them as I can be, and they're going to know that this ends now. All of these shenanigans, all of this, it stops, and it, it obviously has stopped in the past. The commissioner's report, uh, you know, found that, and and we agree with it. But you know they're going to know that that stuff is not not acceptable anymore. James, you were with a club that was also at the vanguard of advanced intelligence in baseball. Um, how close were the Rays or was it known or spoken about that, hey, wait, here's the line, don't cross it? Because it's not like they did something so far outrageous. They just went to real time, which was a violation of baseball ethics. How did you with the Rays or all of you decide, wait, this is the line, this is what you can't cross? How did that happen? Well, it's it's no secret that the uh, the league has been updating the rules constantly as the technology changes, and that's true in in baseball and really any walk of life. You know, as as the ground shifts underneath us in terms of what's possible, and and we have to rewrite the rules to make sure that everybody is playing by the right rules and playing a fair game. And so, you know, there are are definitely lines that that the league is continuing to to make stronger and stronger. Um, I think that one of the things that uh, is common between the Rays and the Astros is that we push the envelope. We push the envelope in terms of how we develop players. We, we push the envelope in terms of how we evaluate players. And sometimes, uh, you know, that pushing of the envelope when it's when it's in that forum, uh, you know, you can translate that to an area where it's it's against the rules or, or not against the rules, but, you know, pushing the envelope of the rules. And so that's one of the things that we're going to make absolutely sure that we know that pushing the envelope when it comes to training and playing the game of baseball is one thing, but pushing the envelope when it comes to the rules is another thing. And that's that's where we got to make sure and we will put things in place to make sure that that kind of thing never happens here again. James, there are two uh, members of your now executive team that are in significant positions that were named in the Wall Street Journal report as being part of the thing called Operation Codebreaker. What's going to happen to them, if anything? 
uh, yeah, and I addressed this earlier. Uh, you know, as any new GM comes into an organization, you know, one of the first things they're going to want to do is get as complete a picture of the personnel in place as possible. And to, you know, once you get a feel for, for everybody that's here and their skill set and what they can bring to the table, that's when you start looking around and saying, okay, who's in the right spot or who needs a, a, a bigger opportunity, who needs a new opportunity, that kind of stuff. So, I mean, I, I would love to have an answer for you, but the fact of the matter is that I've been on the job for about a week uh, and I've got a couple hundred people that I need to uh, to get a feel for and their skill sets. And, you know, once once I've had a chance to do that and talk to the people here who, you know, have, have been awesome so far, um, you know, re really impressive group that we've got here so far. Once I have a chance to talk to everybody, then we'll have, you know, a, a more complete discussion, a more complete picture of, of what this personnel group is going to look like going forward. But those two in particular, James, they're, they're a different spot, right? After being you know, kind of named in this or exonerate them, right? Is it going to be something specific with those two to say, hey, they did this they, or they didn't do this or what, what, what's it going to be? I, I don't have all the facts yet. And so that's why I, I don't want to weigh in on this one way or the other. Uh, you know, we're still obviously gathering a, a lot of information about what has happened here in the past and trying to figure out the best way that, with, that we can move forward and make sure that it absolutely never happens again. So that's my focus right now. OK, fair enough. James Click, again, new GM of the Houston Astros. James, again, congratulations to you. I know under these circumstances, uh, difficult. There's a lot of noise out there, but uh, well earned and uh, well done. We'll see you down the road. Thanks, James. Thank you.